and little buddy to get settled. Good Tuesday morning. Here we are in the little studio with not even a fan running. It is a little bit stormy, but yesterday's big old storms came through in the evening and the temperatures are still very pleasant, for me anyway. I know a lot of people <laughs> don't get cold when it's under 80 degrees, but ooh, had a little chill this morning. It was so exciting. And I realized that the summer has not ended. But oh my goodness, what amazing reprieve. I'm grateful. And I am grateful to have such an amazing uh, realtor trying to sell my property. I wanted to explain that the offer is a verbal offer. That's all. It's, it's no, no contract or anything like that. But the man is in Georgia, and I figure he's got a better idea of what it's like to live in the heat. And my guess is he wants to come to Arizona to get rid of the heat. He does that about 15 times a day. I don't know what he hears. Buddy. Mona's on, on call outside. You'll be okay. We have a jackrabbit living in the, in the yard. We also have a ton of lizards everywhere. And some of them are about this big. And they're running around the house. And, and Buddy hears it. And I guess that's what that is. Um... What was I saying? Oh, about this person who has made a verbal offer. So yesterday, I tried to speak with my realtor. She called uh, late in the afternoon. And I did not go into town on Monday like I had originally planned because I wanted to talk to her in person. There's a reason. She's very, um, she's very quiet. She has a very quiet voice. It's something I've always admired in other women because I'm not that way. <laughs> and I was really struggling to hear her. But I had kept my phone with my earbuds plugged in so when she called, I could answer the call really quickly. So I'm sitting there with my earbuds and trying to hear her, and I am adjusted the volume almost maximum. And all of a sudden, I said, I can't hear, what I, I don't understand, I missed part of what you're saying. And all of a sudden, <laughs> her husband, Vinny, started talking in just a normal, natural voice, but it was like, instead of the phone being over here, it was right here. Y'all, I nearly fell out of my chair. It scared me so badly. I did not expect to hear his voice. And then when I did, it was so loud that my, my instinct went for the earbuds to yank them out of my ears. But my brain told me, you won't be able to hear anything if you do that. So I, I, I was shaking and trying to adjust the volume. It was not a, a really great conversation. And I, I thought things were resolved enough that I was anticipating a text from her last night. And in all the confusion, I, 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 had, I did not hear from her last night. Now, the death certificate that I have been waiting on. I know they charge my card, but I don't know if it's at the mail yet. And I thought, honestly, I don't have money to buy the supplies that I actually need. And I don't want to have to go into town twice this week. So I just didn't go. 
I'm like, I'll wait till I get my little social security <laughs> and I'll pick it up then. And there's a better chance that it will be in the mail then. So that's where I'm at. However, it was so triggering. I'm sorry, I hate to use that word. I know it, they throw it around, everybody gets triggered. I reacted as if someone had fired a shotgun next to my head. My entire body reacted. And it took me hours <laughs> to calm down. So, anyway, that's where we're at. And I know I haven't said anything about not having the ducks. And it took me about a week to stop the the mourning over the loss of not having animals on the homestead. Um, homestead animals that produce food. So anyway, I'm just on high alert for everything all the time. And I am doing things that are supposed to help. But this is a physical reaction and I'm sorry. My body has a mind of its own. <laughs> and it reacts as if my life is in danger, whether I really am or not. And the storms that came through are real. They're monsoon. I mean, it actually rained. But the main thing was I sat here watching that sky just turn black coming at me, knowing full well that a lot of times it looks way worse but last night, there were a couple of times, it literally sounded and felt like something hit the side of the house. The wind just kind of whooped around and hit the whole side of the house. And it was just the wind. There wasn't anything in the wind. It was just the wind. So anyway, um, I slept beautifully last night as the temperatures dropped. Well, they weren't really, it wasn't that hot yesterday, and today is really cool, and there is, at 7.30 a.m., there is a cloud cover over the sun. I'm really struggling making this video, because um, I've got people telling me not to say what my life is really like, so I don't know what to talk about. Because I don't make things up very well. I only got my reality and sharing my reality with you. So basically, I'm giving you a weather report. And I'm okay. And that's about all I got going. I, oh, I know what I need to say. Y'all have been so kind in the comments. But thank you so much for being here uh, for me and being kind and understanding and patient. Just a little short video today. Just to let you know, I'm okay. Things are happening. I know they are. I just don't know what yet. <laughs> and as soon as I do know, I will let you know. How's that? I love y'all. I love, love, love